Good evening, fellas. Immigration. We've got warrants come in. Make your way out here. Make your way out. Do you have any documents to say that you can work here? Mm -hmm. Just so you can. You haven't got a copy. Move the chair out of the way. Give the wall a push. And we've got a hidden bedroom. He's supposed to be studying at a college in London, 130 miles away. Be ready to uh, exit vehicles ASAP. The takeaway is owned by the student's wife. She has applied to stay in the UK as her husband's dependent. Evening. Hello. Hello, miss. I'm from the uh, UK Border Agency, yes. Immigration Service. Okay. Are you in charge? Um, Are you in charge? Yes. You are. If the husband is here under false pretenses, then so is his wife. Rushing. Officers spot the husband in a car outside the takeaway, and they find another Chinese man working in the kitchen. Yeah, to pull the Nothing to worry about. Just come and have a quick chat. With you. All right, don't worry. Uh, you don't know English. You don't know English. Can you tell him just to come and sit in the front so we can have a quick? You can the get team want to make sure each person in the restaurant is entitled to work in the UK. The man and his wife have three children, two of them born in the UK. But it's news to the team. The couple have not let the Home Office know about their growing family. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand why uh, okay. you are coming here. We've just come. Uh, part of our, um, our role, immigration, yeah. is to check employees uh, that the right uh, permissions to work have been applied for. Yeah, me. It's me. You're the employer? Yeah. Fantastic. Have yeah. you got a list of your employees? Yeah, you want the pepper. You want to see the pepper. Absolutely brilliant. As a student, the husband is allowed to work 20 hours a week, but he must be able to prove he's going to college. All right, if I have a look at this. I'm just looking for proof that he's been studying. At the moment, I don't believe he's been studying. Uh, we get a lot, a lot of bogus students coming up. Uh, as you say, they're studying in London, waking all the way up here and doing no studying whatsoever. Even though the student can remember little about his studies, He's in the clear. He's provided a receipt for his tuition fees and proof that he's renting a flat near his college in London. You're not going to be a big multi-millionaire businessman after all. If he were to be a fictitious student, then he's spending an awful lot of money um, putting a pretty elaborate plan together. So as far as we're concerned, you know, he's legitimate. He's here today to see his wife. Uh, he's, they've got three children. His plan is to stay here for another 18 months on a course and then return to China. We'll the student may be genuine, but the team haven't finished at the takeaway just yet. In a passageway next to the kitchen, one of the officers has made an interesting discovery. Showing you, just keep yeah, just walking past, chair in front of what looks like a wall. Move the chair out of the way. Give the wall a push, and we've got a hidden bedroom. We see somebody sleeping, well, living in here. Uh, telly, bed, clothing, etc. Quite well hidden. You could quite easily walk past it and not see that there's a room here. Makes you think that obviously the person that's in here uh, wants to remain hidden from uh, anybody visiting the premises. Next, the spotlight will be on the man found working in the kitchen. He'll have to prove he has the right to be in Britain. If he has a passport. No. Thank you. Chief Immigration Officer Sean Flaherty uses an interpreter on the end of a phone. Hello. Plain asylum. OK. The man, who says he's an asylum seeker, claims he's just here as a guest of his friends and helping out a little in return. OK. Yeah, absolutely. He has a letter from the Home Office about his asylum claim, which he keeps in his room. What's this? Secret. The hidden cubby hole next to the kitchen. Narnia. Fantastic, thank you. He claims the letter confirms he has permission to work. These are yours. Officer Flaherty spots a second letter the man is less keen to hand over. This one here? Yeah. Which you've quite rightly said, yeah. they both say there's no restrictions on you taking employment yeah. back in 1998. Yeah. But then, back in March 2008, you are not allowed to work. Yeah, no working. I know I'm not working. Okay, right. I only come here, I only pay for I accept that you're not getting paid, mm. but in place of getting paid, you're given food and board. 
So it's work. Still work. Officer Flaherty checks the Home Office records. When was he refused asylum? The worker has never reported since claiming asylum in 1998, and his claim has been refused. He is listed as an absconder and is not allowed to work. OK. OK. Mr Zhou, right. you're under arrest, OK? Oh, yeah. You're a failed asylum seeker, yeah? You have no leave to be in the United Kingdom, OK? So you're now under arrest. Do you understand that? No, I don't. No, OK. I'll break it down nice and simple. You're under arrest. You shouldn't be working, you shouldn't be in the country. You haven't complied with immigration so far, you've rendered yourself in this position at the moment, OK? You're going to come with me, we'll have a word outside, OK, my colleague's going to search your room. All right? <laughs> OK, come to me. Are you shown a continuing, blatant disregard for the immigration laws? Uh, come here seeking our protection, and he hasn't done anything to kind of help himself or us. So he's under arrest now. The team know that detaining and removing Chinese illegal immigrants is not straightforward. They will almost certainly have to release this man on bail. The problem we've got is the length of time it takes us to get a travel document for a Chinese person. It can be up to 12 months. So it's almost certain that we're not going to get bed space for him for 12 months. Somehow we have to persuade him that he should report to us and that he can't work during that time. The takeaway owner is legitimately in the UK as a dependent of her husband, the student. But she has been employing an illegal worker and could face a fine of up to £10,000. You have to write to them. OK, let me just explain what's happened. This gentleman here, he's not allowed to work. He does helping me. Helping's working, I'm afraid. He's not allowed but to he help. He's also helping my children. Is he say working for my He's not allowed to work in the UK. So where he go? He's going to be detained now. We're taking him to a police station um, where we'll interview him further. After being interviewed, the man is released on bail. The owner of the takeaway will be fined up to £10,000 for employing an illegal worker. Hi there, guys. From immigration, you wipe everything down for us, please. Make your way out here. Make your way out. The team find five workers and the owner of the restaurant. An employer must make checks on his staff to ensure they are allowed to work in the UK. He can be fined up to £10,000 for each illegal worker found on his premises. The first to be questioned about his immigration status is the waiter. Do you have a passport? I don't have any passport. You don't have a passport? Yes. How did you get into the country without a passport? I came and I lost my passport. You came and you lost your passport. When did you come to the UK? Four years ago, on a six-month visit visa. So your six-month visit visa is well expired? Has been expired, aye. Well expired? Yes, OK. The scam of coming into the UK as a tourist and staying on to work has given this man up to four years of illegal employment. How long have you been in the UK? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks? Do you have permission to work? I don't. How long have you been working here? A year. Two days. One day. Monday. For this Indian man found in the kitchen, an encounter with immigration while at work is nothing new. This, this gentleman here was actually encountered um, by myself on a previous visit to a restaurant on the opposite side of Glasgow. Here we found him yet again working illegally. And this worker has also recently been arrested by the team and he too was released on bail and told not to work. No more working. OK? Yes. Time for you to go. Kilo Mike, that's uh, Parveen Kumar off the premises. He knows that until the enforcement team get hold of his travel documents, it pays to exploit the system and to find another job. The same goes for the other illegal worker already on bed. OK, off you go. Don't come back here. OK, so you're not permitted to work. OK, off you go. Now it's time to deal with the two other illegal workers. This man is in the UK as a tourist and says he's been here two weeks. Yeah, he claimed he came here with a visit visa just for a holiday, but he's now working. All his friends, families, relatives have probably been doing it, telling him, come to Britain, you know, and you can make, earn some good money. So they all, they all know how the system works. He's been doing it for years. And the owner should know he can't employ a holiday maker from India, even if the man does just turn up at the door and offer to help. 
So he came up to the back door, just wandered up to the back door right. and said, I've got a tourist visa, and yeah. that was it. Well, he says, well, can you, he says, can you help me out and all that, you know? I said, well, have you got other documents? Mm -hmm. you know, can you work and all that, you know? He said, I'll bring that tomorrow, like, you know? The owner also denies employing the waiter who has overstayed his tourist visa by more than three years. Okay, this way, sir. We're going this way, but you're going to do what we tell you to do, okay? Because you, what you must understand now is you're arrested. Okay? okay. Right. Sorry about that. The team have found four illegal immigrants at the restaurant. They do. At a Chinese takeaway in South Wales, two out of five workers have been arrested after trying to escape the enforcement team. The manager who employed them has been a British citizen for over 20 years. You got naturalised in the 80s. He decides to help Officer Collins question the remaining workers. You're a boss, you're an employer. Do you have any documents to say that you can work here? Just so you can... You haven't got a copy. What's her immigration status? Well, she was an asylum seeker. She's an asylum seeker, so she's claimed asylum. Yeah. What's the outcome of that asylum uh, she's, claim? Uh, she's allowed to work. Allowed to work. So she's got asylum, has she? She's been granted asylum through refugee status. When was it granted? 1996. She was granted in 1996. She made a claim. So she claimed in 1996. But when was it granted? So she's waiting for a solicitor. She's waiting for a but she hasn't been granted yet, then, has she? So you told me that she was allowed to work. So you've seen documentation seen she hasn't worked, but you can't have. She just said she hasn't been granted. Although she's told her manager she's an asylum seeker, he still believes he's seen paperwork that proves she can work. Some asylum seekers are given permission to work by UK border agency. He'll need to find the documents to prove this, or could face a £10,000 fine. Occasionally, very rarely, um, we, we give permission to work. So he's looking for a document to confirm that now. He's the one who's been responsible for hiring That's all right. three. Have you seen a passport for any of them, Mr Trim, no? Uh, no. no. Well, he's got a fair few documents down there, so with a bit of luck, there'll be something in there that uh, will help us. So it's not there? Not there, no. I thought I had it. Okay. He can't find the documents he needs. And next door, all that turns up is a driving licence. All right, that's fine. Like you said, we'll take this down and then we'll take this to um, confirm your details, OK? Downstairs, Officer Collins checks the woman's details yep. on the Home Office database. Her immigration history is extensive. She's had three applications to stay in Britain since 1996. They've all been refused. She now has a fourth application in the system for her and her child. Until she gets a decision, she's not supposed to work and must report to the local police station every month. No. We, we, we can't find anything to say that she can work. She's got to report, she's got to check in with this immigration and let us know where she is at all times, OK? So what I'm going to do is set her up a report and I'm not going to arrest her, put her in custody, there's a child upstairs and everything else, OK? It's imperative she does that, OK? That way she can start getting some money because obviously she can't work here again at this point because obviously 1996, she's been here quite a long time and we can get this sorted for her better for her, OK? And obviously the child. The manager of the takeaway is fined £20,000 for employing three illegal workers. Uh, it seems that apparently I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is illegal, it's not right, so uh, I have to wait now. The two kitchen workers who tried to escape are taken to a local police station. After further questioning, they were released and asked to report to the police station twice a week. So far, they are complying. Specific intelligence was that the illegal workers would be there after 10 o'clock. So that's why we're there at this time of night. This team raids 150 takeaways every year in the search for immigration offenders. Tonight, they're visiting a kebab shop. Good evening, fellas, immigration. We've got a warrant to come in. Uh, yeah, no problem. OK, thank you. Yeah. Let's see what you're doing. Hello. Officers search the premises for employees, even if it means waking them up. Oh, 
hello mate. Immigration service. Got a warrant to enter the premises. Do you want to get yourself up, please? Downstairs, Officer Collins begins to question a man he found in the kitchen. Nationality, where are you from? I am from Turkey. Turkey. Where are you living? Upstairs. Is he sleeping upstairs? Is he living upstairs in the flat? Are you in a, here on a work permit? Ah, uh, you got, in your passport, what have you got? Okay, wait there. Can I take Yeah, one second. He's got a passport upstairs there as well. Uh, as officers search for the Turkish man's passport, the man who's just woken up faces a grilling from immigration. So you've applied to stay here, have you? Yeah, Albanian? Albanian, yes. Yeah. Have you claimed asylum? Yes. Right, you've claimed asylum. And this chap? Uh, yeah, he's claimed asylum. Yeah. Application outstanding at the moment. Technically, he was out of time. But well, there's a bit of grace period and it's accepted that it was within time even though he's out of time, right. final one. So technically... So we're still waiting for that. This Albanian yeah. man came to Britain in 2001, yeah. aged 15. Right. Where's your passport? He was given permission to stay until he became an adult. He's since applied for refused. asylum and is waiting for a decision. Upstairs, yeah. officers have found the passport they've been looking for. Uh, basically, he's presented us with a, with a Turkish passport. He's got uh, a visit visa in it, a uh, visit student, but the visa can clearly states uh, no work or we cost of public funds. Uh, second name, Akbas Alpha Kilo Bravo Alpha Sierra. Oh, he's got a student visa here. This man came into the country as a student for a one-month English course. It finished three weeks ago. His visa says he's not allowed to work here because he was studying on a short-term basis. If he has been working, then he'll be deemed to be working in breach of his entry conditions and he may well stand to be arrested. We caught him working in the rear. Oh, yeah, he's behind the camera. So this course in St Giles, down in Eastbourne, that you took a month over, that's what you were supposed to come in for, and you were supposed to leave after that? Yeah, yeah. so why didn't you leave after it? OK. I think you've been working here. He's trying to improve his English, that's what he's been doing, I know he has. <laughs> that's what he's been doing. This student won't admit he's been working but officers spot the kebab shop yeah. has CCTV. Maybe the truth will be on there. That's one, yeah. It was him, yeah. Just, just see camp. this gentleman here um, serving a customer. He's saying he's not working here. Obviously, the evidence there is, is that he is. Red T-shirt? Gentleman working with red T-shirt, that's you. Serving, yeah. serving a customer. So, and if we play this tape back, over a longer period, it's going to be on there, isn't it? A lot more. So you might as well come to it clean and just tell us because we're going to play it back. We've got documentary evidence there that he's actually working. So he's working in breach of his conditions of his stay. I am now going to arrest him for working in breach, okay? It's, it's a dead giveaway. I mean, it's a double edged weapon. It protects them, gives them a bit of um, security, but then. It works against them and shows them working. Yeah. With the video evidence showing he works there, the student from Turkey is arrested and transferred to an immigration removal centre before being deported. Straight to the front. All right, sorted.